Good morning, everybody. It's Brett, your thankful carnivore. It's October 22nd. Yes, it is. Tuesday morning, and this is today's thankful carnivore report. I hope you're doing well. You guys had a great weekend. I sure did. I had a really busy work day yesterday that's still feeling the effects of physically, but I'm listening to my body and I'm taking it easy. I want to talk to you all today about something that uh, I observed over the last month. Some folks who, uh, they fell off the carnivore wagon for whatever reason. It doesn't matter to me. I mean, it matters to the people, obviously, but I can't, I can't fix that. My point is, is what do you do after that? Because I've had people come to me recently and, you know, what do you do when, when, when you got sideways with your thinking or, or what do you do when you just, you forget and you eat something and, or what do you do when you, you make a mistake or you fall down and I fell off the wagon, et cetera, et cetera. Well, the first thing you do is you get up and you dust yourself off and you recognize that you made an error. We're humans, we make mistakes. I make mistakes, I make mistakes all the time. Every day I make a mistake, or 10 or 20 or 50, however many. I, I don't keep a running log, I wouldn't get anything else done. <laughs> My point is, is we, we err, we're human beings, we're flawed, we're fallible. And Sometimes some people succumb, their sugar addiction, they've not fully conquered it. Their mindset hasn't changed. And so they eat something that they shouldn't, or they eat a whole lot of something they shouldn't. But what do you do? You get up and you recognize, I made a mistake. And I think it's so important to examine honestly it's the hard part. The honesty portion of this is the most difficult, I think. Why did it happen? What exactly took place? Why did you choose? What was the process of your thinking that led you to put something you believe and you know is unhealthy for you into your mouth? What were the consequences? You know, I know one person who they did carnivore for 30 days. They, they documented their progress. They had great physical results. But more importantly, they lost depression. They lost mental illness. But they decided that they needed to test it by eating crap again after 30 days, whatever it was. And, and I remember warning them, you know, you could run the risk of losing your sanity and there's no guarantee you're going to get it back. Well, they risked it. And they're still paying for it. And they haven't gotten it all back yet. And that's so unfortunate. So number one, why, what was your thought process? You, if you know that if I eat this, bad things are going to happen to me. I don't, I don't, I can't process that because my sanity is so precious to me. It is like the greatest gift outside of my life itself that I've ever been given is my sanity back by eating this way. And it's just really hard for me to comprehend how you could get your sanity back and be willing to risk it. I don't understand that. I just don't. I don't think it's, I don't think it's healthy thinking. And that's why changing your mindset is so important. So, if you learn about, honestly examine what happened that led you to eat the non-optimal crap, how can you prevent it from happening again? 
Well, number one, if you only eat when you're hungry, and when you're hungry, you eat until you're not another bite full, and you only eat the meat you crave a kid afford, and you don't put sweet taste in your mouth, it'll be almost impossible if you just follow those basic directions to ever, ever have another stumble, to ever come off the wagon again. It's that simple. Oh, Brad, but there's got to be so much more. Emotional eating, emotional eating. I was stressed. It was somebody died. I, was, I didn't know what I was. I, 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 I. That's learned behavior that you need to unlearn. Nobody's twisting your arm and forcing anyone to put non-optimal things into their mouth. It's always a choice. Now, you can choose to make the right decision and enjoy the wonderful benefits of not being inflamed, not suffering from mental illness, not, not being in a constant state of brain fog, being responsive versus being reactive. So important. This is my friends. Get up, dust yourself off, Learn from the experience. Do what you need to do to not repeat it. Yeah, real simple. But Brad is so simplistic. Listen, simple works. Results matter. I'm not a genius. I'm not some super willful, you know, I don't have this vast reservoir of willpower. I'm just, I'm just trying to get through every day like everybody else. But because I follow the directions, I get to reap the rewards. And you can too. So if you've stumbled, you've, you've fallen off the wagon, just get up. Don't beat yourself up over it. That serves no purpose. Follow the directions. Reap the rewards. The choice is yours, my friends. I hope you choose wisely. Have a wonderful day. Eat your meat, drink your water. Thanks for watching me, hanging out. I've been getting so many messages. I want to thank Katya from uh, Bristol, UK for letting me interview her. And she suffered from arthritis, depression, and anxiety. Not necessarily in that order. What a wonderful story to tell. Uh, that interview's up on my YouTube page now forever. I, I, I recommend you all go listen to her talk about her experience. It's, it's really something. And she's, very, she's an advocate now in her own way. Uh, just a really good thing, a wonderful experience. That's enough of me babbling. Eat your meat, drink your water, my friends. We'll see you all tomorrow. Take care.